One of the most discussed points in this week's Parsha is in the first words of the Parsha. The Torah tells us, It was after two extra years, and Rashi explains, These two years were two years extra that were added on to Yosef's sentence since he was he had asked the Saramashkin to help him to get out of, of prison, Hashem added two years to his sentence. And there are many questions, enormous discussions, about what Yosef may have potentially done wrong. After all, Yosef was doing his Ishtad Lut. He was putting his own effort into becoming free. What was it that he did that was incorrect? This past Shabbat, when I was here in Yushalayim, I was flipping through a Sefer, and I found a beautiful explanation, one that we could really take to heart. Not necessarily did Yosef do anything wrong by doing the extra Hishtadlut, by asking for help. However, if you've gone through the last couple of Psukim, notice that everybody around Yosef had seen what Hashem had done for Yosef. Ki Hashem ito, Hashem atzliach biado. All these Psukim that tell us that Yosef was being successful, and people saw Biglal Yosef, because of Yosef, that Yosef was being successful, because of the Hashem was doing for Yosef. It would be impossible to think that Hashem didn't have a plan for Yosef. And therefore, when Yosef chose to ask for extra help, it wasn't that he was doing something wrong, much more that he just hadn't taken the time to notice that he had inspired others around him to be more connected to Hashem. And therefore, he should have realized that Hashem had a plan for him all along and not needed the extra hishtadlut. It's not so much that, that we don't do enough work, it's more that we don't notice that Hashem always has a plan for us. If we take time to look around and realize that Hashem has a plan and that Hashem is involved and that Hashem is helping us, then we will be fine. From the streets of Yishalayim, Shabbat Shalom and Chanukah Sameach.